Meatloaf is one of those dishes that people either love with a passion or say they hate because of a bad childhood meatloaf experience. Mr. Kringle used to be the latter, but once he tasted how I made meatloaf, he became a believer. This recipe is highly customizable to your specific tastes. So if you're ready for some down-home comfort food that will leave you with a full tummy, grab a cup of hot cocoa. It's time to bake some dinner time magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees. To a large bowl, add two pounds of the meat of your choice. I used lean ground beef and lean pork for this batch. You can get pre-made meatloaf mix at your grocery store. Add one or two slices of diced raw bacon, your peppers, I use diced poblanos and red peppers, but you can use whatever peppers you like. Diced onion, I use scallions for mine since I didn't have a regular onion on hand, and grated carrot. If you have on any rings, take them off, you're gonna get down and dirty. Using your hands, mash together the ingredients to get the veggies incorporated. Add the half cup of cheese of your choice, three quarter cup of cottage or ricotta cheese, one third cup of marinara sauce, quarter cup of steak sauce, broth, or water, half cup of panko breadcrumbs, half teaspoon regular or seasoned salt, one tablespoon dry mustard, one teaspoon Italian seasoning, half teaspoon of black pepper, and two eggs. The spices are totally up to your specific tastes. Time to get those fingers ready to work some magic. Dig in and incorporate all of the ingredients until well combined. Make sure that you wash your hands after working with raw meat and eggs. Get a cookie sheet and place your loaf pan on it. Trust me, this saves your oven. Transfer the meatloaf mix into the loaf pan and it will likely come slightly above the top of the pan, which is just fine. Bake in the oven for 55 minutes. Transfer to a platter and allow to rest for 5 to 10 minutes before serving. Meatloaf is a great old school dish that remains a fall and winter classic. It's delicious, filling, and a great way to sneak in some extra veggies. Perfect serve with a side of roasted sweet potatoes, or even better the next day as a sandwich for lunch. If you want to make it ahead and freeze it for later, cut it into slices when cooled, freeze them on a cookie sheet. Wrap well with plastic wrap and put the slices in a freezer bag so that you can thaw and reheat for an easy weeknight dinner. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more home-baked goodness straight from Mrs. Kringle's Kitchen.